Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week in our Torah portion, we start the book of Exodus. And in the first Torah portion, Shemot, we have this wonderful encounter with Moses. Moses had grown up in the Pharaoh's home and was out in the fields and saw an Egyptian slave beating a Hebrew, and so he went and killed the Egyptian, and he was off himself in, in wilderness, not really knowing what to do, not knowing what he was going to become. He had met this wonderful Midianite woman, and they were living together, and he was married, and he was working as a shepherd, but he was sort of lost. And he's wandering along, and he sees a bush that's on fire, and it's not being consumed. And something spoke to him. Something in him said, stop. There's something extraordinary here. And we know that whole episode is the burning bush. And in our tradition, our Torah teaches that the bush was burning but not consumed, and God spoke from the bush and called Moses to go back and lead the Israelites out of Egypt. The question is, do we face those burning bushes in our own lives? And if we do, how do we get the recognition that Moses got? How do we understand that what we're seeing is that bush aflame? How do we know to stop and take our shoes off and be in awe of that majestic moment? And the answer is, we don't know any more than Moses knew. Moses didn't go out that day expecting to have a grand encounter with God. Moses went out that day wandering and allowing his mind to wander. And in that moment of wandering, something extraordinary happened. And the truth of the matter is, in our own world, even in 2015, we can still do the same thing. If we approach our daily lives with a sense of wonder, with a sense of being able to wander and explore and try new things and learn and grow, then we too open ourselves up to the possibility of a burning bush. We open ourselves up to this notion that God can speak to us that the world can be changed and we can be the agent of change. And that's what's so important about the burning bush. It isn't so much that it happened to Moses, it's that it can happen to you and to me, anytime and all the time. And that's what we try to do here at the temple and it's the way we try to live our lives as Jews, to live in a way to encourage others to be open to that possibility of God and a burning bush at any moment in our lives. This Shabbat, our services will begin at 6 o'clock p.m. I hope you can join us. Saturday morning, we have services at 11, preceded, of course, by Torah study and text study before that. Saturday evening, our film series will continue with a wonderful film about Rabbi Joachim Prinz, um, who was a German leader and then came to America and became an American leader in the Civil Rights era. And it's an extraordinary film and worth watching. On Tuesday, our scholar series will continue with Dr. Len Newman, who's a member of our temple, uh, and is a psychology professor at SU, and he'll talk about how normal people can be turned into those who have committed genocide. For now, I hope you'll join us at the temple for all of these events and more, but even more, I hope you'll open yourself up to that fire that burns, to opening yourself up to that miracle ex that exists, that we don't often see, that we don't often appreciate, because around us, we're surrounded with burning bushes, we're surrounded with miracles. The question is simple. Are we willing to wonder and wander and see them? Or are we too busy closing ourselves off, ourselves off in our own world, afraid to encounter that which is new? Shabbat Shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.